Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about alternate ways to front squat. So my main front squat video kind of runs through these, but the, there, are, there are plenty of different grips you can adopt, and some of them are a little bit more comfortable for some people than they are for others. The, the number one, the common one, especially the one used by weightlifters, is the bar sets on my, uh, uh, sits on my shoulders, there's the noun I was looking for, and I have a little bit of finger guidance. I'm not holding it in my hands, I just have a little finger guidance, and I drive my elbows forward and up, okay? What this does is it stretches the wrist like this, and it can be pretty uncomfortable, especially if you're not used to all that muscular and neural tension going through there, and some people just get pain in there. I would encourage you to try it out and see how much you can do. Don't force yourself into anything that's super painful, but a little bit of uncomfort is okay. The front squat is one of the most uncomfortable lifts that you're going to do, and it, it's kind of that way by design, right? It, your, your working out shouldn't be comfortable. You don't expect it to be comfortable, do you? So that's the first grip. This is like a more traditional grip. Very important if you're doing Olympic lifts because as I take the clean up here and I catch in a front squat, I have to catch this way. I can't catch like this one, for example, which is our next one. So this is more popularized by bodybuilding culture back in like the Arnold days. Um, you're, you're still, the bar is sitting on the same spot on your shoulders, that noun that I remember, and you're crossing your arms in front of you. What this does is it gives you a little bit of a, um, a barrier so you can feel if the weight starts to roll forward. Um, but you don't have to have such wrist mobility to hold the thing up. Um, that one is generally a lot more comfortable, but it doesn't feel as stable during the squat. I don't really know how else to say it. It's kind of just like a ball or a cylinder, I guess, more specifically, sitting on top of a plate. And you're like, you're making a plate with your arms. And that cylinder can roll around and it can slide even side to side. And that can feel pretty uncomfortable, which is why I generally try to get people towards this if they can. Now, uh, we talked the weightlifter one, we talked the bodybuilder one. There is a middle ground now. Um, one that I really like doing for a little while uh, you're, you're gonna take a, a string of some sorts, maybe a wrist wrap, uh, or wrist strap, like w something that would tie you to the bar. You're gonna weave it in, around the bar and just hold it up here. So if the bar is down on my shoulder, I can take some tension off my wrist by not having to bend so much. And I'm gonna hold this little strap up here. Similarly, it's kinda like you're guiding with your thumb this way instead of your whole wrist back this way. This, I, I don't know, I've found more, a lot more comfortable. You still get a little bit of the, it's, it's like a middle ground, right? You still feel a little bit of sliding like you feel with the bodybuilder variation, uh, but you feel a little bit more stable than this traditional like cylinder on plate rolling around thing. Troubleshooting, so if you don't like these, don't do them too much. You gotta kinda ease into it. A little bit of wrist stretching and toleration and maybe a little bit of handstand work. All of that stuff can loosen you up and make you you know, uh, a little bit more comfortable during this front squat. But again, remember, eh, we're not here to be comfortable. We're here to get a little bit better. So, good luck. 